Hey, this is Crystal from Triple C Creations Crafting, and this is another DIY Christmas ornament. So, um, I don't have the finished product yet. I've got kind of one in progress because it does kind of take a while to do um, the paper inside. But I started out with this clear ornament. Um, this is I like the plastic ones because I have kids. Um, last longer too. These I've been watching for them to come out. I got some a few years ago. And um, I don't think I got any last year. Maybe actually the last two years I've not found any. So these are four inches. These are these are actually large. If you get these at Michaels or somewhere, you're going to pay more for them, or you're you're not going to be able to find the plastic ones. I actually couldn't find them. I think when I looked, um, I found the glass ones this size, but I don't think I even found the plastic ones this size. So Dollar Tree, I was on the lookout, and um, they put them out, and I bought all that mine had, which. Wasn't that many, but I did buy them all. Because here's the thing. If you're going to put vinyl on ornaments, you want the flat ones. Because then you have a flatter surface to put it on. It's not such a pain in the you-know-what. So, start out with one of these. These, Like I said, these are large ones. These are four inches. And um, we are going to use, um, or this is what I'm using. You, you, you don't have to. But I'm actually using... Um, some song books that I got after my grandmother died. So if you can see, these are, um, I mean, they were falling apart. They're kind of musty. Um, a lot of the pages are already torn. So I'm turning this into a Christmas ornament. Um, you don't have to do that again. You, if you're wanting to do this with your church, is it a really great activity to do with your church or a group? Um, if you don't have any of these, somebody in your group may have some, or you may have some laying around at church that are not being used, um, that you can ask ones in charge if you can have them and, uh, recycle them. So we've, we are doing this as a crafted church and I had another lady that brought in, um, several song books too. So I don't have to use all mine. Um, but, so I got an old song book and just going through how I did this, um, just take a page. That one's that one's already tore. You can take this next page here. See if I can get it out. I'm just tearing it out. And then I'm going to tear it into strips. Now, I, I do want my strips kind of straight. So, I'm going to use a, a straight edge. It doesn't have to be a ruler, but a straight edge. And I'm going to make... This is mine. I'm going to make mine about an inch wide. And the thing with the ruler is it kind of helps you tear straight. See, watch this. And these pages are old. Um, so they tear very easy. I have already done this some. I think I actually tore three pages um, before I started the next step. And I've got quite a bit left. So I'm thinking like a page and a half, maybe two pages is, is what you would need for one ornament. The next thing you do after you've done that is you start rolling it. Okay, now you can just roll it with your fingers. I actually do have a quilling tool. And a quilling tool is, it's. I mean, it's made to roll fat or roll paper so it's got a little bitty split and you just put your paper in there i have to take my glasses off to do this um and then you just start rolling it so i do like to roll it pretty tight because then when it unrolls it's you've still got the roll so um this can take you know a few minutes so i didn't want to do all that so there's one way of doing it and then Notice how, you know, once I put them in here, they do expand, but you've still got those nice little rolls. Um, you can also use tweezers. So here's some tweezers and um, just, just pinch it and start rolling it. Much better with a quilling tool. Okay, maybe I won't use that. I did have, okay, so scratch the tweezers. Um, oh, I know what it was. It is tweezers, but I have some of these reverse tweezers. That's what it was. So with these, they work backwards. So when you squeeze, it opens, and when you let go, it holds. So I'm not constantly trying to squeeze it. So um, it doesn't hold real tight, but it holds enough to, to get it started, and that's really all you need is to, to get it started. Um, hemostats, if you know what hemostats are, um, I have a lot of family in emergency medicine, paramedics, EMTs, firefighters. I usually have a pair. Yep, here they are. Um, so these are hemostats. These are the curved end ones. Um, 
the straight ones might be easier. So those will work. Um, people even use a wooden skewer and they'll make a little slit in the end of it just to put their um, paper in. Um, hair pins. I've seen a lot of things that people use to, to quill with and that would work. Um, I mean, you can do it with just your hand too. If you prefer that method. I mean, that's not that bad. So, so anyways, you're going to do that and you're going to fill it up. That's pretty easy, I think. So, all right. Now, go ahead and put the top on. Squeeze these together. Um, these this year came with a pretty silver um, like string, and I'm just going to leave that on for now. Um, I think when I did this before, I actually replaced that with some black ribbon that had some silver in it too that I got at Walmart. So um, that, and you want to fill this pretty full. Um, because it does kind of like pack down. So I, well, I, I filled it full. You wouldn't have to, if you want it just partly full, then, then that's fine. Um, with you, that's not seem scratched. Okay. Now I do have a silhouette. So I cut amazing grace and amazing grace would work. I think also how sweet the sound, um, you know, anything like that to go on this. But I'm just going to use my contact paper. And I think I've said this before. So I just use, I don't buy anything special. This is actually Walmart contact paper. Um, I've tried the Dollar Tree contact paper. It is, it's the same brand, but it's quite a bit thinner. Um, and it's just a hassle. So I, I do pay a little bit more and get the, the contact paper from Walmart. Um, you do get a bigger roll. It's more money, but you do get a bigger roll. And it just... It works better. I usually get two transfers out of a piece, so maybe more. Um, but since I'm not doing all these, other people will be doing them, then um, probably just have a piece for everybody. All right. And this is not going to get washed or anything. Uh, I mean, I could clean this with, with alcohol, but I, I'm not worried about this coming off. Um, I, I did cut this out of the 651, so it is the more permanent. I'm just going to eyeball it and start in the middle. Put the middle down first, and then it is still curved, so you got to kind of be careful about that. And you may, you may end up with a little little fold. So I'm going to have a little fold there between my N and my G. That's okay. It is a curved surface. Um, everyone's going to be a little bit different. Longer words are harder, and these are connected. If you used to find that what connected, it'd be easier. So just doing my, my fingers, and then I'm gonna varnish it down just a little bit, whoops. And let's see. And there it is. So you have this um, keepsake ornament can be, you know, using a songbook from um, somebody in your family um, or just, like I said, doing it as a church or as a group of ladies. This is, um, I think, a really, really good craft to do. You could um, put something on the back. I did not. Uh, if you were doing it as a church, you could even put the church's name on the back. You could put the year. You could put, you know, somebody's name. You could put in memory of. Um, so lots of different options. Um, also think it would be, be cute to, you know, maybe do do a little bow um, and put it, uh, I'm not gonna make a bow, but but maybe to put it right there. Um, so just some options. You have lots of uh, different things you could do to make it your own, but I'm gonna keep this one simple and um, leave it just like this. So if you like this video, please um, subscribe to my channel and like the video. I am, this is the second ornament video and I have an idea for one more so far. Um, these are the three that we'll probably going to be doing at my, at my next, um, church craft night or craft day or whatever it turns out to be. So, um, I will link all those videos once they are all posted. So until next time, see ya.